Hello and welcome to another video of Time Series Forecasting. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the steps of residuals diagnostics and then I'm going to show you an example in R following these steps. Step one is to forecast uh, using a given method and then fit the model and get uh, the fitted values. And then based on those fitted values, we can calculate our residuals as the difference between the actual values and uh, the fitted values and after we have these uh, residuals we can test the properties that I described earlier by using uh, these tests the first thing we can do is we can time plot our residuals to know whether the mean value is equal to zero we can also see if there are any outliers in the residuals we can also look at whether the variance is constant or not by just uh, plotting uh, these residuals against time and then to test whether residuals are correlated or not we can use the autocorrelation function to see whether the residuals are correlated or not remember if a series doesn't show any correlation then the series is white noise so what we can do is instead of looking at the acf we can conveniently apply this long box test to know whether a series is white noise or not and if a series is white noise which means these residuals are uncorrelated and seems like we are using all the available information in our forecasting method and if the series is not white noise it means we left out some of the information in our forecasting method and we need to go back and look at our forecasting method a little bit now even if uh, the residuals show that uh, the residuals are white noise there are still ways to improve uh, our forecasting uh, model we'll talk more about this in the future to test whether these residuals are following uh, a normal distribution or not we can look at the histogram of uh, these residuals to know whether uh, the residuals are normally distributed or not now all of these uh, tests are conveniently packaged into check residual function in R. Okay, let me show you an example. Okay, so we are in R right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract the Google data that we were using earlier and we are interested in the data for the first 200 days. And we can uh, look at the data set, we can plot the data set, but our purpose here is to forecast using various methods and uh, look at the residuals. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the data set I'm going to use the data set for first 200 days and then I'm going to use the naive method to forecast and then I'm going to pass this to residual function and this way I'm going to calculate the residual from uh, the naive method. So these are the exact steps that I showed you in the example. All we are doing here is we are using naive method to calculate uh, the fit forecasted values and then we are calculating the difference between the actual and the forecasted values and then saving it as res. So these are the residuals. So what we can do is we can auto plot these residuals to look at these residuals. Remember this auto plot can reveal various patterns. We can look at uh, whether the mean value is zero or not, whether there are any outliers in the data or whether the variance is constant or not. Then we can look at the histogram to know whether uh, the series is following uh, a normal distribution or not. Then we can look at uh, the ACF to know whether all of the spikes are within these bounds or not. A formal method to test whether a series is white noise or not is to apply the loom box test that I described earlier and seems like the p-value is large which means that this series is white noise and it is shown by this ACF function as well. Now instead of using all these functions separately what we can do is we can simply first calculate uh, our forecasted values using the naive method or whatever method that we want to use and then we can pass that uh, method to this check residual function what this function will do is it will provide us everything that we need so looking at the time plot these residuals are actually fluctuating around zero so it seems like the first property that uh, these residuals should be equal to zero is met and then we can also look at there is an outlier here 
in the data. So we need, probably need to go back and look at our data and see what we can do about uh, this outlier. Looking at uh, the p-value of the loom box test, we know that this series is revealing uh, white noise. So it seems like uh, this naive method is uh, giving us uh, pretty good results. So our variance is uh, constant and it's not increasing as we are moving in time. And then looking at uh, this uh, histogram, there is a kind of a long tail on the right. Nevertheless, it's very close to normal distribution. So we can say that overall evidence suggests that naive method uh, is working fine in this case. Uh, it's giving us a white noise series for the residuals and the mean value of these residuals is equal to zero. What I want you to do is uh, perform the same analysis, pass uh, other benchmark methods of forecasting, use this check residual function and see whether you get these properties of the residuals or not. So this is how you can uh, test whether your forecasting method is following uh, the residual properties or not. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.